Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic disc review. Today I have the Wasp by Discraft. This is in their Z plastic and this one is stickered to be 175 through 176. I have not thrown a Wasp in an extremely long time. I'd say it's easily been five years. So I do not exactly remember how this disc flies, but I know I used to like the Wasp a lot. I know it just recently, we seen a advertisement video from Chris Dickerson. He's a local in my area. So I was like, I gotta try a wasp. I gotta see what it's about. So let's grip it and let's rip it and let's watch this baby fly. So first throw with the wasp, as always, I'm gonna try to throw it flat. Might be a little Anheuser, that's what I do. At this point, you should know that. So that had my personal signature slide Anheuser on it. It held very nice, extremely straight. It had the stability at the very end to come out with some nice fade. That was a very good first throw with the Wasp. Water. It's no fun staying thirsty, my friends. <laughs> but Bryson's getting ready to throw the Wasp. His is probably gonna come out with a little bit more hyzer than mine. That's his standard release, but let's see what happens. Yeah, um, so I'm probably going to go pick that disc up and put it straight in the car in my bag. And when I go and play Warriors Path later, I'm probably going to use it on a whole 10. Might get an ace later. Well, Bryson just now threw the Wasp on a literal perfect hyzer. So it's only fitting that I throw it on a big Anheuser. So let's see how the Wasp likes being put up high on some angle. Some anti literally held it perfect yeah. like it, it held it all the way to the end never thought about turning over into a roller and it had that nice hovering fade at and the end there's a left to right wing confirmed well backhand the wasp has nothing else to prove so it's time to sling this baby on some forehands i'm going to throw it full but this is probably not a good full disc forehand but we're going to see what it does Yeah, definitely wouldn't throw a full on forehand. So, just so everyone knows, the design of the wing and the bead that's on the wasp is a more old school design. Back when most people was throwing forehand, I mean, was throwing a lot of backhands. They was not throwing a lot of forehands. So like that particular design, even when you look at it on like rocks and everything, it can be used on like slower finesse forehands, but when it comes to really powering up, that's not the most torque resistant molding design on mid ranges. So just old school disc, but flies great backhand. I'm gonna give it a rip on forehand and see what happens. So I'm not even gonna try to go max power on this. I think Bryson pretty well displayed what's gonna happen and what usually happens with these old school molds like that. I'm just going to throw this on a nice finesse forehand because I fully believe it'll hold well whenever you throw it in nice and soft. But at that point in the discraft lineup, you're probably just going to throw this on. So. Super straight, great flight, nice disc. All right, so the Wasp has been thrown and the wasp has flew. And it's a incredible disc actually. Like I said, I threw one a long time ago, but it had been a while. I am very surprised at how nice this disc is. I like the feel of this in the hand more than I do a buzz. I like bead mid-ranges though, so that's for me. But if you don't like a bead on the mid-range, you know, the buzz is definitely your disc craft option there. But this feels absolutely incredible. Whatever angle I put it on, 
it held amazingly. Forehand, I was able to throw it with some finesse shots, so I can see it being useful on some wooded courses for some people. If you're looking for that nice little straight, just stand still, mid-range through a straight gap or something like that. The Wasp in the Z plastic feels great, and it lives up to, well, the expectations I had, so I'm impressed. Yeah, like Brandon said, that's probably gonna go in my bag later. Uh, pretty much everything Brandon said, it's a great disc. Thank you. And just remember, whether it's Discraft or anybody else, if you love your plastic, you'll play fantastic.